What is going on guys? It is Fortis here and today we are going over patch 32, otherwise known as part 3 of the TNG Star Trek Fleet Command arc. In this video we will be going over a bunch of topics including the brand new ship, new TNG officers, new ship skins, new research nodes, new away team assignments, new missions, minor gacha and events. If you want to listen to a particular part of the video, just skip ahead now. Okay, so first we have a brand new ship. A lot of people have been expecting the Enterprise D, but sadly this was not the case. However, if you are a free to play player or a grinder, you will be happy. Introducing a new mining ship, the Meridian. I have been told by the developers this is really on par with the Ferengi Latin miner, the Devor, in terms of its epicness. It's the first isogen focused mining ship and it's meant to be used in territory capture space. Isogen is used to increase the territory capture rewards for your alliance and individual research. I've been told the Meridian ship will be unlockable at the end of the free battle pass or unlockable through purchase. There is one reason you might be tempted to unlock this straight away, and that's because it is going to unlock a whole bunch of event rewards for you through participation. So if you choose to the free unlock at the end of the battle pass, you will not gain some of these rewards. So this is definitely something to be aware of. So there is this thing where if you build the Meridian now, you will gain access to those rewards. But if you wait until the end of the free battle pass, you may not get those same rewards. So this is definitely something to be aware of. And of course, at tier one, you will automatically gain a 2000% increase in isogen mining. If you manage to get this to tier 9, it will increase to 4300%. This ship is only available to build at level 25 plus, and the reasoning behind this is because the majority of purchases by players are in fact level 25 plus. Developers really want you to get to level 25. Okay, so once you've built this ship, what happens? Well, you will unlock a new isogen resin refinery. Uh, and you, you know, you can put your isogen into this and it will give you iso resin to use in additional research nodes on the research tree. I'll explain a little bit about this research later on, but for now, if you purchase or win the ship skin to the Meridian ship, you will unlock a four batch iso emulsion refinery option. So essentially the Meridian ship skin is for those players who really want um, you know, to be re refining a lot of ISO emulsion, okay? All right, let's move now on to a brand new officer, well, sorta, introducing epic William T. Riker. So why Riker really pairs well with other TNG officers and will mainly be used for powerful armadas and hostile hunting. His main ability, Vibrant Authority, will increase damage against armada targets by 100 to 140% per round. So this is a, a cumulative figure here. And then we have the Icarus factor, which increases damage against Federation hostiles and Armada targets by 100 to 300%. Now, I don't know if this is something they might change, but against Federation hostiles, Riker does damage against his own faction. Well, you know, someone needs to really explain this. <laughs> uh, anyway, he is a decent officer with Armada and PvE abilities, and over time we'll see how popular he is. Alright, next we have the new G4 Miner Ship skins. Not just for the Meridian this time, but for other ships too. This should really be called the Mining Arc, because we have three new ship skins for the Hydra, the Vulture Vor, and the Bachor. The three ship skins each give plus 200% in ore, crystal, and gas mining. If you have these ships, these skins will be pretty essential. These skins will be sourced as a purchase and will actually be available. A lot of these players have complained that, you know, previously released ship skins are simply not available anywhere. I've been told the developers are in fact looking into this and will be providing something soon. All right, let's now move on to new territory capture research nodes. There will be four new territory capture research nodes focused on PvP damage, survey max cargo size, and damage when being delivered, you know, damage when fighting on a node. Uh, so to unlock each research node, you will need the new ISO resin currency 
which will be sourced through the new refinery, which can only be unlocked by building the Meridian mining ship. So these look like some pretty good nodes, especially the survey max cargo size for those G4 miners in dark space. All right, let's move now on to the next uh, new away mission assignments. The away mission assignments are essentially an extra element in the game for those who might not, you know, who might be away for a long time. You might want to utilize your officers for some rewards, and for the length of this arc only, they've added an extra assignment slot with four brand new assignments, okay? So the four new assignments will allow additional access to ISO resin in, in the exchange for raw isogen or ISO motion. So essentially, this is another avenue to get that precious ISO resin for your research. Something to keep in mind. All right, let's move on to new mission arcs, uh, new missions being introduced in this arc. So as the new officer is Riker, we can assume that a lot of the missions will revolve around him. For this arc, there will be 10 new core missions, continuing the TNG storyline, starting at level 32. This will be sourced via the free battle pass, and if that wasn't enough, there'll be additional five TNG missions for level 40 plus. So keep on the lookout for those. All right, next, short and sweet, we have the new minor ultra gacha chests. Now, as I've said previously, this should be called the mining arc. Basically, we will have the same as the ultra reward, um, ultra recruit officer chests, but instead they will award two chance on mining officers. Now, for those wondering, this will also include Raphael Dupont, an excellent G3 miner. All right, let's now move on to events because this is always a popular one. There will be lots of events focused on new territory capture research and building the Meridian Isogen Miner. As I've said before, it really is up to you what you want to do. You'll be able to unlock the Meridian Isogen Miner at the end of the free battle pass, but if you do this, you will be missing out on the event rewards for building the Meridian Miner in the first place. So if you do choose to purchase the Miner um, early, then you'll gain access to the event rewards. So, you know, we're kind of expecting a lot of uncommon materials and titanium to come out of this. So it might be worth building the ship early. And we also have a lot of uh, PVE and PVP events, mining overhaul, which will focus on G3 Miner upgrades. Something to definitely consider if you want those rewards. Uh, we have Armada Hunt, Armada uh, Faction Hunt, and you know the typical race to operations, uh, because again, the developers want you to get to level 25. Uh, then we have the Jellyfish Auction, only running once this arc, keep that in mind. A Parabellum event, Riker um, Full and Partial Unlock events, um, Riker Avatar Auctions, a bunch of Armada and Hostile events, plus as requested, that's right, an event store. So we have this event store running for a week and you know you can spend your Riker week tokens uh, during this to get Riker shards, Bacard shards, faction tokens, and much, much more. So if this wasn't enough, there will also be holodeck games, and a holodeck games event to celebrate the start of the 2021 Olympics. So all in all, we have an interesting um, a lot of interesting things coming up in this arc. And one of the most interesting things so far has to be the Meridian Isogen Miner. Territory capture hasn't been the smoothest ride for Star Trek Fleet Command. Players were expecting fierce competition, all out alliance wars, and, and pretty great rewards. The actual result has been pretty poor. You know, alliances haven't really changed territories too much, and the developers are finding you know, new ways to kind of make this experience better overall. It seems like the Meridian Isogen Miner is the first step in that process. And if they make rewards and research good, they may have a small winner on our hands. All right, guys, this has been a look at the Meridian Isogen Miner ship, Epic Riker, new ship skins, new research nodes, new awaiting assignments, new missions, Miner Gacha and events. We're still in the coronavirus pandemic, so stay safe out there. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro.